Today we're talking about the link reaction. So what are the reactants, what are the products, and how does it fit into the wider context of aerobic respiration? Well, it occurs in the mitochondria, and I'm gonna take you through exactly what you need to know to smash your exams. I'll go through some exam practice at the end, so stay with me guys, let's get into the video. So let's take a closer look at AQA, A-level biology, the link reaction. Now, the link reaction takes place in the mitochondrial matrix, the fluid-filled space within the mitochondria. This occurs after the pyruvate produced in glycolysis enters the mitochondria. And we can see the matrix here in the bottom left diagram. And we have the cristae, which is the folded regions of the membrane. We also have the outer membrane and some really cool stuff like ribosomes and DNA. And that's evidence that the mitochondria was once a prokaryotic organism. Now, the link reaction is the second stage in aerobic respiration. Glycolysis obviously comes first, and pyruvate moves from the cytoplasm into the mitochondria. And it can do that because it's smaller than glucose, only being free carbon rather than the six carbons that glucose contains. So the link reaction in more detail, well, we can see we've got pyruvate at the top, which is our free carbon molecule, and that gets converted to acetate, which only has two carbons. And the reason that we've lost a carbon is because CO2 is released. So one carbon has been released to CO2. And that means that the CO2 you're breathing out at rest is from the link reaction, which is absolutely fascinating if you ask me. Now in this process, NAD gets converted to reduced NAD. So that actually oxidizes the pyruvate. Now in the next step, we have the addition of coenzyme A and our final product, acetyl coenzyme A, which is a two carbon product is formed. So firstly, pyruvate is converted to acetyl coenzyme A. And that's a bit of a snapshot of the overall process. And I've shown that in the diagram here where we've got the pyruvate at the top and the acetyl coenzyme A at the bottom. Number one, pyruvate is decarboxylated. Now decarboxylation is where we remove carbon from a molecule. And we can see that with the removal of carbon dioxide here. Next, pyruvate is oxidized. And that's where something loses protons or electrons. And we can see here that the NAD is reduced, meaning the pyruvate will be oxidized. Now, finally, coenzyme A is added to the acetate to form acetyl coenzyme A. Now, ATP is not produced in the link reaction. So that's something really important to remember. Glycolysis, the Krebs cycle and the electron transport chain all produce ATP, but the link reaction doesn't. So the link reaction happens twice per glucose molecule and glycolysis forms two pyruvate for each glucose. So that means we get two link reactions per glucose. So for each glucose, that means that two acetyl coenzyme A will be produced. And that's why we get two turns of the Krebs cycle. So what are the final products then? Well, we'll have two molecules of carbon dioxide and two molecules of reduced NAD. Now the carbon dioxide is a waste product that we'll just breathe out. And the NAD that's been reduced will enter the electron transport chain and be used in oxidative phosphorylation where massive amounts of ATP are produced. Check out my video on that for more information. So let's go through some exam practice to really show you how to apply your knowledge to exam questions. So first of all, substance Y enters the mitochondrion from the cytoplasm. Each molecule of substance Y has three carbon atoms. Name substance Y. So pause the video, have a go at it, and let's go through the answer. So the answer is pyruvate for one mark. Question two. In the link reaction, substance Y is converted to a substance with molecules only containing two carbon atoms. Describe what happens in this process, and that's worth two marks. So again, pause the video and we'll go through the answer. So the answer is carbon dioxide is formed or decarboxylation. Either of those will get you your first mark. Next, hydrogen is released or reduced NAD is formed. 
Again, either of those will get you the mark. And for a third mark, you could have said acetyl coenzyme A is produced. Question three. Describe how acetyl coenzyme A is produced in the link reaction for two marks. So the answer is the oxidation of pyruvate or the removal of hydrogen from pyruvate and carbon dioxide is produced. So you need both parts of the, the sentence there to get your mark because and is included. For your second mark, you would have said that coenzyme A is added to pyruvate. So guys, short and sweet video today. Like, comment and subscribe. Drop in the comments what you want to hear in the next video. And I will see you in the next one.